Welcome to the Fat Emperor podcast. I'm your host, Ivor Cummins. I'm a bit worried though, because um, it's been very clear from the science for many decades now that for optimum health and weight control, we should eat regularly during the day. And especially if you had diabetes or something, you want to snack regularly to keep your blood yeah. sugar level. Yeah. And, and given that, you seem to be talking about the opposite. I mean, yeah. wow. It's, it's, it, it is kind of strange because, you know, if you don't eat every three hours, you die, right? You know that, That's right? That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, the entire idea I, is like simply ridiculous. Mm. And what's funny, of course, is that we talk about evidence-based medicine, right? We talk mm. about this all the time. And where was the evidence that we need to eat every three hours or even we can't skip a few meals, right? Mm. It doesn't make any sense. And if you think about it, we do this all the time because that's the way we're built. So if you do a colonoscopy, which is now routine, mm. in uh, Toronto, we do 24 hours of fasting plus a purge, which is to get rid of all the yeah. stool so you can do a colonoscopy. So that's 24 hours of fasting. Nobody blinks an eye, right? Mm. In uh, the United States, in certain areas, they do a 48-hour fast, right, mm. for a colonoscopy, and it's routine. So mm. everybody over the age of 55 gets it. They do this 48 hour fast, 24 hour fast, and nobody blinks an eye. But then when I say that you should do it, they go, oh, you're gonna kill people, right? Mm. It's like, where's your evidence for that? In fact, there is no evidence because it's not true. None of it was actually true. Yeah, so, and, yeah and, and, and it's really ridiculous what, what people say about it. Oh, you're gonna do this, you're gonna go into starvation mode, which is again, ridiculous because the one thing that is guaranteed to put you into starvation mode is cutting your calories, right? Which is what we tell people to do all the time. So that's, uh, you know, some of what we talked about. But mm. yeah, definitely it's, it's a lot of just kind of misinformation out there. I think really? it all came out of when people were treating type one diabetics with insulin, what happened is that it's very unphysiologic, right? That when you're shooting yourself up with insulin, you actually have to change your diet because the insulin is not physiologic. Your pancreas mm. gives a lot of insulin, goes up and down, up and down, quite substantially. But when you're injecting it, you can't do yeah. that every second of the day. So they said you have to kind of make it more even so that you can accommodate your insulin. But that was for type one diabetics. Yeah. And somehow this got translated into the fact that, hey, if type one diabetics do it, Everybody in the whole world should do this because, mm. you know, you're going to die, right? If you don't eat every single, you know, three hour period, right? Mm. But it, it just simply wasn't, um, there wasn't any evidence behind it. Nobody made a conscious decision to promote this. Mm. It just kind of came about uh, that we should do this all the time. Even this whole idea of skipping breakfast, which used to be quite common, right? Mm. Let's face it, lots of people would just drink a cup of coffee and go on their way. Um, that kind of became entrenched without a huge amount of evidence that mm. you should eat breakfast. They just kind of took it as gospel and it became what everybody mm. said, so everybody believed it to be true. Right? Yeah. That was, that, there wasn't much evidence for that either. You don't eat snacks, so if you go back to the 70s when I grew up, it was three meals a day, no snacks, yeah, right? Same here, pretty much. And everybody did fine, right? Mm. Nobody died, right? Because they didn't have their, uh, you know, mid-morning snack. So the problem was that the food companies, they want to sell more food. Now, if you only have three meals a day, you can only sell so much food. Mm. So you can create an entire new category with snacks, right? Yeah. Very lucrative. It's entirely processed, right? All food company profit, pure profit. Yeah. And you've added an extra couple of meals a day mm. and you've made a lot more money. So though they became very influential in trying to change the kind of um, dietary habits of Americans and unfortunately they're successful which is why you don't see any uh, you cannot go back and find uh, review articles about people citing the evidence that you should snack all the time right mm -hmm. and it sounds so stupid right mm. oh you should eat all the time to lose weight oh yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> that's like saying I I wash my hands constantly because it makes them dirtier it's like okay that doesn't make any sense right yeah. you eat all the time you're gonna gain weight period yeah. that's I just watch thanks for tuning in guys if you're watching on YouTube you can see my subscribe button in the middle of the screen a free viewing of the Widowmaker movie on the far right and myself and dr. Gerber's book eat rich live long on the left Otherwise, please do subscribe to the audio podcast. Thanks.